Are you struggling to release the golf club properly? Just don't feel balanced after impact. You keep falling over and the club just doesn't feel like it's in the right position. In this next video, I'm gonna show you how to release the golf club properly so you can play more consistent golf shots and have a lot more fun out there. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from Hitting It Solid here, where I help make the game of golf easy and teach you how to hit the shots that you want to hit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to release the golf club properly so you can make a more balanced follow through and hit a lot more consistent golf shots. So before we get started, please uh, remember to like this video and please consider subscribing to the channel. More subscribers I get here helps me grow the channel and keep on producing golf videos like this so we can keep on playing better golf together. So releasing of the golf club is what we're going to talk about today. So what is releasing the golf club? So if I'm set up to a golf ball like this, the release is that position post impact just after I've struck the ball. So if I'm lining up to a shot like this and I come down to impact just after I've hit the ball, that position there post, post impact, that's what we call our release position. Now, this is an important position because if we've done everything correctly leading up to that point, we should be able to get into a pretty good spot post impact, which ensures the rest of the golf swing all follows through correctly. So. What I see typically, so what's an example of a bad release position? Well, typically it might be someone that comes through and they might have their, their arms very bent like in a chicken wing type position like this. So face on towards the camera, they might look something like this. Very bent arms like that. That would be a very weak release position or someone that really rolls their wrists over excessively post impact. That would be a really poor release position and there might also be someone that does the exact opposite releases very early and does a kind of a, a scoopy sort of action like that as their release position so what I'd like to see in a really good release position is post impact let's get myself in that sort of position there where both those arms are quite straight and that would be considered a good release position so there's a few things that will determine whether we can get into this position okay so a few things we can do that impact getting into a really good release position and one of those is that delivery position just prior to impact so what i mean by that is if i'm coming into impact that position where the club gets about parallel to the ground this is a critical position to ensure you're able to make a good release because if i'm not in a good position here makes it difficult for me to get to this nice release position there and the most common problem I see from golfers someone that might club, take the club too far inside on the takeaway at the top and they'll come down very steep across the ball and that'll make it really difficult to get into that nice release position that's that's typically your over the top move which is often caused by an inside takeaway so from down the line that'll look something like this so if you're someone you think you might take the club too far inside you might come over the top and swing down steep you'll find it very difficult to get into that release position so if you're struggling to get into this position i'm going to show you that might be one of the reasons you're doing it so pop a comment below if you if you find it difficult to get into a good release position something like that that you think might be contributed to perhaps some other issue in your golf swing so another issue that's quite common that affects the release is being too closed and not opening up and up in the downswing. So I'll show you one towards the camera. So if I'm coming down to the downswing here, ideally what you want to see happen is for the body to open up and end up somewhere in that position there. That's ideally what we want to see. But if you're someone coming through the impact and you keep your legs and your chest very shut, very square, and you're forced to flip your arms, you'll find it again really difficult to get into this position. So a lot of those things are really important. And another really important one is getting that rotation, the downswing. So again, if you're someone that stays very square and doesn't rotate their lower body, you'll find it difficult to get in that release position. However, if you can get to the top, 
really get that rotation happening it's much much easier to get into that release position so I'm going to show you a drill that you can practice to help get into this position it's really really simple you can simply set up to a ball like this we're not actually going to hit the ball here but we're just going to practice get the club back to about about to that vertical to the ground position here we can just practice swinging roughly about four feet past the ball into that position there now what we want to achieve we want to get our arms straight and what we're aiming for is to have this club splitting right between both these arms and if we get to that position roughly that would indicate they're in a really good release position so if I go to here you just want to shift your weight just as you would in a normal downswing my, you notice my whole body opens up everything is pointing roughly about it's roughly sort of about four feet or so give or take past the golf ball my arms are extending the, arm, the club is as far away from the body as it possibly can being comfortable my legs my hips my chest everything's opened up and I've got very much a straight line of a release right there in a great impact position now I'm going to show you another little drill you can do you can grab a tee now we're going to place this place this tee roughly about four feet in front of the golf ball and what we're going to do is make swings as we come down we get into this position here you want to feel like that club this club head here is roughly stays on line and get it pointing right at that tee so we're going to do rehearsals going to this delivery position hands and arms straight pointing right at that tee I'm just going to rehearse those try and do about 10 or 20 reps of those and rehearse getting into that position doing your normal downswing moves your rotation and getting those arms to finish up straight straight at the golf ball and you'll end up in a really good position there and remember as we come down that club head I'll try and show you this from face on so you can see it clear that club head should be splitting roughly between those two hands so this angle should hopefully show it see that club splitting right between my arms straight into about my stomach area there and that's a really nice release position and you'll find a lot more balanced golf swing leading through to your follow-through and a lot more consistent golf shots should result from that so there there you have it there are the steps that you need to take to make a really good release of the golf club properly give those a shot if you have any questions or comments about that please post them below I'd love to hear about your struggles with this or what has worked for you and hasn't worked for you now below this video there'll be a, a couple of additional links to further golf instruction make sure you check those out once again don't forget to subscribe to the channel thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time